in some of the great churches and cathedrals in Europe. And from there, I realized that uh, the organ is just an amazing instrument with so many possibilities. And that basically brought me to where I am today, studying the organ, getting a degree and becoming an organist uh, full time. I think um, doing these concerts here at the Sydney Town Hall has been some of the greatest events. Um, the great thing about the Town Hall is just having that big audience, um, having the big space and the beautiful instrument, of course. The great thing about music is, is just how much it connects with people. Um, it's such an amazing experience to play this extremely complicated mechanical instrument and try and make it sound musical and then to actually engage audiences. Sometimes you may be having your back to the audience or you may be off stage, you know, sometimes organists are actually completely hidden from everyone behind a row of pipes. So um, it does change the performance dynamic a bit. Uh, for some people it makes it less stressful because you feel like you're not, you know, being judged by a whole bunch of people. Um, in my case, um, I think that because I'm facing the same way as the audience, we're all enjoying the instrument together. Um, I think a lot of um, organists my age, um, there aren't many at my age, probably because, yeah, it's not an instrument that many people get exposed to these days. There are a lot more organists in the past because a lot more people came to church and um, learned musical instruments, so that combined to create more organists. Today, this is a bit different, so um, I think that it is unique and people don't, well, they're impressed, I would say. For me, I'm just doing what I love. Um, I started my channel during the COVID pandemic, and I, for a long time, wanted to find an avenue of sharing my love for the organ um, that wasn't limited to church services, because that's usually where most of your playing is done. So what I'll do is I'll sort of pull it out on its own, and how low it gets. Oh. In high school, I didn't. I mean, just personally, I didn't have much confidence, so I had to do a lot of, um, you know, I had a lot of nerves. Mm -hmm. And those nerves continued for many years until I finally, um, my, my worry about how people are going to judge me if I make mistakes was, was overcome by my need to really share what I love. Yeah, I never know where, where I'll be taken in the next couple of years, but um, I definitely, I do view teaching as an important part of what I do. Um, there's, I am already teaching quite a few students, but um, I have a lot of experience in church music too, and I, I always want to advocate more for um, really excellent church music as well, um, and, and the use of the organ, which uh, often is underutilized at these churches. So I see myself doing that, and in addition to that, um, you know, perhaps doing more tours and performances.